You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building, Miss Jocelyn. Am I special? <laughs> Well, he tells that. He does yeah, tell he that to all the guests. Exactly. Yeah, 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 I know, yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah, not special. Now, before we started, we were talking about Nicki Minaj, and you said Nicki knows you want to smash. Absolutely. She's hot. I, I fuck with Nicki. She's always in my comments, and she supports. She supports mm -hmm. my, my brand, and she supports my music, and, you know, I spoke to her a couple of times, and she's always gave me good feedback. Plus, okay. she's fine as hell, so, I mean, who don't want to smash her? Well, congratulations on the baby. Well, Thank motherhood you. hasn't changed Jocelyn. No. <laughs> <laughs> changed me? Why? What do you mean? I, it, it changed me, but I still like girls. What well, I mean, what's oh, wrong yeah, with okay. that? I always like the girls, so, you know. Mm -hmm. I think motherhood changed you, but, you know, for a better. But that don't mean you, you can't be a freak. Is it, a conf is, it, is, it, is it confusing a little bit? Confusing how? This is, this is as far as, like, when you got the child in the house, would you have girls over and guys over or both at the same time? Well, right now, I am a single parent, so I wouldn't have, you know, I know how to have me time. Got you. But a child's baby, though, right? She's, she's six months. Six months, right. But I got I got uh, my mother, I got my sisters, I got my, her godmom, I got my brothers. So everybody, like, takes her over mm -hmm. the weekends. You know, she might go with my mom or mm -hmm. my sister or my brother. So I have me time. You oh, it's Stevie. I mean? No, she don't really spend that She sometimes, but she's usually with my family because I moved to Miami. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did, did it bother you when it, when you first came out that you were pregnant that Stevie was saying that it was he doesn't know if it's his at all, and you was like, no, he's the only person I've been having sex with. Did that bother you at all? I wasn't bothered because we were separated already, mm -hmm. and so we just happened to have sex, and I got pregnant, and so even though we were separated, I, you know, I just. I wanted a baby. I wanted to take care of my responsibilities. And um, I'm like, damn, I, I was 29. Why not? You know? Mm -hmm. And so it was one of those things where I just took responsibility. Mm -hmm. And why not? You know, I'm 29 years old. I never had a baby. What's the problem? Why can't I have a now? Right. But at yeah. that time, were you messing with a bunch of different men, though? You know, I never... I'm not really into guys as much as you would think. I've been with one person on TV for seven years, and that was my ba my baby's father. And I always like girls, mm -hmm. so I play with girls, but not guys. Guys is they really hard to get in my panties. I'm I thought not really... young drove smash. Absolutely not, but he's a good guy. Okay, he's a good guy. He's talented, and uh, he believed in my music. And we went in the studio. We did a song with uh, Young Joel and um um what's the guy's name? Oh gosh, Rocco. Rocco. I used to go yeah. forget Rocco. No, because you put me on the spot. I had to think. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and they took me in the studio. We did this all uh, Girls Going Wild. And it got some really, really good resp uh, response. But I was pregnant at the moment and didn't know it. Mm -hmm. mm. So we were supposed to shoot the video. We never shot the video. But Young Joy is a cool guy. Very, very talented when he goes in the studio. It's all work. It's really, really fast. And, you know, we never went there. Yeah, I think Stevie was under the impression that you was out here sleeping with a bunch of different rappers and athletes. Mm -hmm. So that's why he felt that way. I mean, you know, if that's how he felt, that's how he felt. And I'm not upset. I'm right, really you're not happy. offended by the fact because you guys weren't together when you got pregnant. So but when you you're find... like, okay, I know what it is. Yeah. And well, I'll do it. And you did it. And he's the father. And I love my baby. She's awesome. Mm -hmm. So I'm really, like, happy. She changed my life completely. So how would you say you've changed since having her? Bye, I, Bella. You know, I, I really just think about the things that I do, and I think that everything that I do now is for her. Mm -hmm. And um, I just want to really show her that she can do whatever she wants to do in life and whatever she dreams of, whatever she desires, she can accomplish it. Mm -hmm. And I want to show her that that can be done, you know, and I've been doing pretty good at it. You know, I executive produced her delivery special for VH1. Mm -hmm. They gave me the budget, mm -hmm. and I uh, it was I don't know if you guys seen it, yeah, but it, it. did you like it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you see, I didn't. Sweet. People were crying, everything. I was crying when yeah. I seen the cut because I had to, you know, when you produce it, you have to go back and see the cut. So I was like, oh my gosh, I can only see that cut one time. Mm -hmm. Let that cut go through. I can't see it anymore. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is a whole different side of you too. You know, I have to say because I think sometimes we watch you on television. And we're like, Jocelyn is such a firecracker, and she's just going crazy. And even just certain things that have happened, like I know you and Mimi have always had issues, you know. But the whole situation with, you know, him and saying that Stevie molested, whatever, whatever, that was a little bit crazy. You know. But explain to people what happened. She said Stevie molested who? His daughter. Really? Oh, I didn't say that. Oh. I, I never said that. Oh, well, I mean, you said Stevie I, was gay. 
I can't deal with you. I can't. Deal. <laughs> That's what you said. No, I ne- I never said that. Okay. I never said that out of my mouth. No one has ever heard me say that. But you know, in the past, relationships can be real hurtful. Mm-hmm. Either they're gonna be real hurtful or they're gonna be a lot of love. Mm-hmm. And Stevie and I have been through some things, and you know, whatever we've been through, I really feel bad about that. Mm-hmm. And and you know, I apologize to to him and everything that we've done to each other or said about each other. Uh, but, you know, I'm such in a good place right now that whatever happened in the past, that's just where it is. Mm-hmm. Now, what yeah. about when, when your daughter gets older and she looks at the stuff you used to do on Love and Hip Hop or that video when you was in there screaming, going crazy, saying you need a big cock. Need a big old motherfucking cock. <laughs> no, just kidding. Tell me you said what? She said what? She I was freezing out. He's trying, he's trying to get me to say it so he can edit it later. Because <laughs> <Yeah, yeah, yeah, laughs> yeah, he said it. Look ahead. What about that stuff like that, though? You know, in the in in we all done some things that we we ashamed of. But I'm not ashamed of that video. I was in the studio. I was freestyling. I was it was you know I was fucking 25 years old. I was having mm-hmm. a good time. I'm in the studio with the boys, and I'm just doing me. Like I don't see anything wrong with that video. If she happens to see anything wrong with that video, I'm gonna let her know what I told you. Like I mean, you know, babe, I I'm a, I'm an artist. I do music. Like if I'm just doing this, you know, and and you know. I prove her, but I'm sorry. And you know, I, I I'm I think that the way that I'm raising her, she's gonna be understanding. She's gonna understand where I came from. Gotcha. And accept that. And you know, you know, she's gonna be. She's gonna have a really good life. And she's gonna not. She's gonna be the opposite of me. Right. And you so, wrote her a letter, also. I did. Yeah, that was very sweet. What prompted that for you? Like, I gotta write my daughter. You know, after after what happened with me, like walking away from, you know. The reality show. You really done? Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Finish. Finish. You, you, you talk about the letter first. You know, I just really felt like the way that they were showing me, it was like, how do you show me like this? You just gave me a $500,000 budget, but this is how you show me? Mm. I didn't like that shit. Mm. That shit really bothered me. You gave me a, you gave me a $500,000 budget to do a show for my daughter, but then you turn around and just do this to me? I didn't like that. That shit really hurt me, cause I feel like it. W- Sometimes you gotta respect certain things, mm-hmm. especially a person like me. I've been with the network for seven years, right. and if you allow me to do something better, allow me to do that. Don't turn around and try to show something that I've done four years ago. Yeah, like that's show not my, fair. Show my growth. Yeah, that's not fair. It's just not fair, and that shit really bothered me. But and you, so, think, did but you, you know, say anything th- different? Because yeah. it's been seven years of the same stuff, you know? Here you go, boo. Well, thank you. Well, last... You give me that hard-ass paper towel, man. <laughs> Can we get her some tissue? <laughs> Can we get her some tissue? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't none of y'all even made a move to try to handle Thank you, man. It's okay. Thank, thank you. you. Know, man. Somebody is supposed to get tissue. I didn't know. I'm going to wipe her eyelashes off. <laughs> I can't do <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I'm okay. I'm okay. Nothing okay. came down. No, you good. You good. But, you know, I just feel like they... I feel like when... When I feel like walking away, I feel like I needed to explain because the way they were showing me on TV, it was kind of like I wanted to explain to my daughter, damn, I did that shit like four years ago. Why is this like coming back up, mm-hmm. you know? And at that moment, that's why I feel like walking away because I'm like, it's just not fair. Well, Mona been exploiting y'all for years. Mona has been exploiting the worst of y'all for years. What makes you think she would change now? I'll try to present you in a different light you think now. It's for, you think it's really because you have your daughter now that it really bothers you? You know, it bothered me. It wasn't, it, it, it's not the point that she's been exploiting the cast for years. Mm-hmm. My thing is, like, when you get to a certain level, like me, I get royalties on anybody that walks on set. Anybody that walks on see, set for Love and Hip Hop, I get royalties on it. That's how I did my contract. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Why, I, don't, I, never, I don't understand how that yeah, works. Yeah, I never heard of because that. Because it's just like the way you do contracts, which I do all my contracts by myself, mm-hmm. me and my counsel. And I just feel like sometimes it's like if you allow a person to be bigger than just talent, something like as a big budget, like a $500,000 budget, let me do that. Why would you bring something that I did years ago to the front, especially when I say, you know what, I sit down and talk to anybody that's in my real life. Mm -hmm. If I got to talk to people that's not in my real life, I don't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And I decided to move to Miami. And just really start a new life, which is what I was saying all along, you know, during the season. I did the talk show, The Real. Yeah, I saw that. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I was working on Star, and I just got my email to come back. And I'm, I'm, I'm friends with Lee Daniels. Shout out to Lee. Me and Lee talk all the time. 
So, you know, I have a lot of opportunities on the table. Right now they're waiting on me to go back to Atlanta so I could uh, start uh, start doing back star the show on Fox. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I really just, I'm focusing on my music in Miami. It so seems I don't like know. it's just time to walk away, too, because you've done it for so long. It may be that and show. And it actually has been maybe a nice. that show. But if somebody gives you an opportunity to do television again, you might want to look at that. You know, maybe that reality side of being showing negativity and stuff. Star is television, yeah, though. Yeah, but it's not negativity, though. Is that, that's no, it's a, it's, a, it's a scripted show. Yeah, it's a scripted show. It's, it's a scripted show. Exactly. Yeah. I did that when I first did that show. I didn't know I was pregnant either. Mm-hmm. That that was around the time that I was pregnant, so I had to miss out all of those months. So I had to come. I came back after I had the baby, so mm-hmm. I only ended up doing like three or four episodes. Mm-hmm. But I was really supposed to be in the whole show, um, and the cast members on the show are some of them are my friends mm-hmm. from Atlanta. So it was a it, it's a good show, and I like it. I, you know, I love doing the talk show, but my passion is music. So know? that's the reason why you left Love and Hip Hop because they they showed you in a bad light. Yes, I just feel like they just they just keep bringing the negativity. But I want to be positive. But you yeah. almost got you almost have to kind of like take it on the chin because you allowed them to show the negativity for the past five, six years. Seven years. So the growth going to take time for everybody. You know what I'm saying? And Mona don't want that. You know that don't bring no ratings. <laughs> I can't do it. You. Mona don't want you on there being <laughs> My, happy and positive. <laughs> well, it's not, you know, I, I, I want to show what I really do. All you right. know, like, for example, I had a great performance at the Gold Room. Um AG Entertainment brought me. Shout out to AG. Yeah, shout out to AG. He brought me. I came. He cut a hole in his ceiling. I came out of the ceiling. Uh, it's, it's a song that I did with my baby daddy called No Time. Uh, he rewrote it. The one that Little Kim and yeah, Puffy did. Kim. He rewrote it because he did that one too. And, you know, the, the cameras came to see to show me and it was great. It was, it was awesome. They didn't show that on TV. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know, so my thing is like I just really had to just focus on what's going to be best for me. And I'm in Latin artist, yo soy puertorriqueña, yo hablo español, like, I, I don't do. know what you just said. She said she's uh, Puerto Rican and she speaks Spanish. Oh, you know, like, got you. I, 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 make, I make Latin music and I feel like at that moment, I should have just, because I'm from, I, I was raised in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. At that moment, I feel like I just need to go follow my dream and do what I really want to do with my life and just go ahead and go back home. Is you know, it frustrating what? that your music career hasn't taken off because you see people like K. Michelle, Cardi B, B mm-hmm. like they out of here. Does it, does it bother you a little bit? And Remy Ma. I mean, Remy been popping. You know I know, know, but you know, she's, on, she's on the show, too. <laughs> no, look, shout out to Cardi. I love Cardi. She's amazing. She's doing a great job. Cardi's dope. Yeah, she's doing a great job, and she's popping. And my thing is, like, everything happens for people different timing, you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. So who who am I to say when is my time? Right. You know, as long as I believe and, and love what I do and, and stick to it, I know it's going to happen. You know what I mean? And I don't have a problem with anybody that... Um, kind of like got there before me, especially because I've been pregnant for a year and a half. You know, well, you 10 months. months. 15 months? No, 10 months. months. Wow. It's 10 months, but then you have to take, it's 10 months, but you have to take four months you, after the you. 10 months, right. you know, to recover. You got you're to pregnant for 10 months? Yeah, you're pregnant for 10 months. It's no, really nine. 10 months. They say it it's really, it's really 10 months. It's, it's really like the end months. of nine, oh, which is 10. Because they start the, the first four weeks before so it's not. Oh, you got gotcha, two kids, gotcha. you should know that. It's 10 no, I don't. A lot of people don't know that because it goes by weeks. Right. So it's like 40 weeks. So I was pregnant for freaking 40 weeks, then it took me some time because I had to lose my way back up. You know, so in that time, I was executive producer, I was doing talk shows, I was doing acting, you know. So the music, it was, I I was still doing the music in the studio, you know, but I can't perform with a stomach. So if if, if I had to take off some time. Where I carry it. You know what? I can't deal with you. Now, now you and K. Michelle <laughs> got into it. You deal. and K. Michelle, and, and it seemed like Mona got back. We're going back and forth. What happened with that situation? You know, I, you know, I'm just a bad bitch. You know, I feel like if motherfuckers got to click up on me because they some pussy ass hoes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's just what it's got to be done. You know, at the end of the day, ain't nothing happened with me or nobody because me, I'm gonna keep a jugging. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, and that's just what I'm gonna do. You know I what I mean? You came and show were cool at one point, weren't y'all? Yeah, she called you a breastfeeding cokehead. Well, I breastfed for a month, and I, I definitely wasn't doing any coke. And I, you know, have you done coke before? I mean, listen, we all done a lot of things in the, the yeah, past. Yeah, smoked coke in a blunt before. When we... <laughs> and you got you actually had to get drug tested at one point too. I got drug tested like four times, right? Because was... my ba- my baby daddy was fucking with me, and he was like, you know. Just getting on my nerves, so I got tested for a uh, drug test four times because I didn't go to the hospital. I had the baby at the um, birthing center, mm-hmm. and they don't have any doctors, so you have to take a drug test because they want to accept you if you don't take one. Because it's not a doctor that's delivering your baby; it's like a nurse. Okay. You definitely was on coke at one point, though. 
that I've video done, in that studio and you screaming. <laughs> no, I you know, I do I've done I've done a few things in my past. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I've done a few things in my past that of course I'm I'm not ashamed of because everybody's done something. And you know, even now, you know, on my me time, you know, I might go hit a blunt. With some coke in it? Absolutely not. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Absolutely. Now, by the way, I would never do it on purpose. Cause I don't, but if somebody passed me a blunt with coke and weed on accident, I might take a puff. No, you, you won't. Cause you, <laughs> you better stop, man. Live it, growing up in Miami, you could smell that, that shit. That wooler, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you could smell I told it. You, I grew yeah. up in the club. Yeah. I was in the club one time. I was like, what is that smell? It's not just regular weed. No, it's not. So you could smell it. I so definitely, it. I ne- definitely never done that. Ooh, I'm a classy lady, honey. <laughs> Classic lady. I've done some, yeah, I've done some things in my past, but you know, everybody's done that. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. everybody's done that. And now that I, now that I'm a mother, I learned to, if I want to do anything, girl, go over there and do it. Be calm. You don't have to let everybody know. be calm, relax, be a mother, be a regular person, be calm. And I think that um, I practice a lot of stillness in the past couple of years. That's crazy. Stevie J was uh, wanting you to take a drug test because everybody was saying he's the one who introduced you to drugs. Well, I wouldn't say that. I've been around drugs before. Right. I mean, him. I'm talking about using them. <laughs> no, I've been around yeah, drugs. Was before Stevie. Yeah, I've been around drugs way before Stevie. That's not, I'm not going to blame that on him. Gotcha. That's That don't even make sense. Right. Has Mona reached out to you? Like, to try to be like, okay, what what can we do? Because obviously, whatever she can do to have you on the show, I'm sure she's going to try. Well, you know, I'm just going to let the fans you know, figure it out. Figure it out. 11... If the fans want me to come back, there is a love in hip hop Miami, and you do. You are living in Miami, so. And I know Brian McKinney's on it. That's your friend. Brian McKinney's on it. My homegirl Don, my baby's godmom, she's on it. Um, I know a couple of people that's on it, but I'm definitely, like, not on it. Mm-hmm. I haven't shot anything. Would you want to do it? Would you want to do it if they make you, put you in the right light and say they'll keep it positive? And aren't your daddy and Trina, I think they're supposed to be on it from what I've heard. Yeah. Gunplay's so- on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So would you do it? Steph LaCour. If it was positive in the way that you want it? And those are like your friends for real. Yeah. So it kind of, I don't know. You know, I got to let the fans decide. <laughs> what do you guys think? You guys think I should do it? Yeah. I'm, I'm watching Love and Hip Hop Miami because of Gunplay. I'm not going to lie to you. I gunplay is entertaining as a mother. I like Trick Daddy, too. Yeah, and if like Trick going to be on there, I'm watching yeah, it with I Trick Daddy. I, I think trick, that if the situation play. is right for you, I think so. then you should do it. Not if only that, if they're going to But I also music feel too. like it's hard yeah. to really, and that's the whole thing, because I know you said you can make your contract how you want it, but maybe in your contract you need to make sure there's certain amounts of your music. Absolutely. That, you know, that's important to you. So I know it's hard to actually get a lot of work done when you have to film, too. Um. Not really. It's not that hard. Okay. It's not really that hard. You just can't threaten the exa- You can't threaten Mona and you know, all that. I do not do that. I'm very easy to work with, believe it or not. So she did reach out to you, though? I haven't spoken to her. Okay. I remember one time Mona called me because I, I always would call her Satan Scott Young. So she called me <laughs> and we had a conversation. And she said, uh, I, I'm, I've, I've helped a lot of these girls. She said, you didn't even, you, this is your first legit job. Like, you never even filed taxes. Who, me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Okay. I, well, I had I had a boutique, a clothing boutique mm-hmm. before, but I re, I didn't really do it, do it for a long time. But you know, she didn't give me an opportunity. We gave each other an opportunity. Mm-hmm. I told her, I said it was like uh, it's like telling a drug dealer I'm gonna front you this work, and when the drug dealer the drug dealer making money, but you know he gonna end up in jail or dead. Hmm. Well, that's, I that's what I say. Reality you TV. Reality like, TV. Yes, drug dealing? in a lot of instances, absolutely. <laughs> did, you, did you really beat up Carly Red at a charity event? No, I like Carly. So that never happened? No. Oh. I ain't never did that to Now, her. what's your situation with Stevie now? Um, I mean, you know, we have a baby. I know, but are you guys like, because listen, there's so much back and forth. Sometimes it seems like you want to be with him. For some reason, it always seems to me like he wants to be with you. And it feels like you guys go back and forth. So at this present moment, are you guys on good terms? I mean, you know, you... I don't know why he wouldn't want to be with me. I'm a badass bitch. Look, I just had, I just had a baby six months ago. Let me Look see. At that let right me there. see. Let me there see. Let me see. see. Let me see. Oh shit! You got <laughs> the areola. I, I have to flash him. Wait, what is the top? Let me see the top of this. What is this? Jocelyn, oh my I don't god! Know why you done glowed up over the years, man? Because you used to look like a man, and now you done softened up a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm serious though. Kick like, his you... ass like a man with. <laughs> <laughs> your face. Your face used to be strong. Now it's like. You look right. 
I can't deal with you, Charlamagne. I'm just telling you the truth. You're right. Charlamagne, I can't deal with you. You'll be doing them. Oh, stop man. looking at her areola, man. She hey, got them out. What up. you want me to do? I'm going to look up. Where's your Bible? I'm a grown ass man. Where's your Bible? We're going to put you the Bible right here on your head. You know what? You're right, man. You, you got a Bible on you? I keep a Bible on Why? me. Why? Women like you. <laughs> God damn it. What the hell have I nipples. done? No, he's got to pray for himself. He got to pray for himself right now. Read me a proverb. Are you fucking kidding me? This ain't happening. I'm not kidding you, okay? Jasmine, what about Proverbs 31 3. Do not give your vital energy to women. <laughs> Nor your ways to what leads to wiping out kings. That's on the Bible for real? Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's in the Bible for real. Proverbs 31 3. And I ain't even mean to go to that chapter. I just opened it and God wanted me to see that because your little nipples look right. If you don't stop it, man, if you don't stop it. This is crazy. I never knew this was here. Yes. That's crazy. But you know what? It's so fucking true. <laughs> it says do not I give your Bible vital study to we're having here. Uh, to uh, what do you say? Do it not says, give your vital. It says do not give your vital energy to women, nor your ways to what leads to wiping out kings. So it's basically mm-hmm. just saying put your energy in the right place. In the right place. You know what I'm saying? Stop fighting. looking down, Solomon. Put your energy in the, in the right place. I'm looking place. her in the eyes. Right, she good. just was leaning back. Now, Jocelyn, what's up with this guy? People are saying you have a new man. You posted you were. With oh, y'all seen some some shots you on, guys on were, room, You were nibbling on his ear. So what? who who is this? Is this a new boo? Y'all on the beach or something? I live at the beach. I live like when I go downstairs, I'm in the sink. I'm on okay. the beach. Yeah. So is this a new boo? Um, I don't know, Charlemagne. Why are you asking Charlemagne? What's that ring on your finger? <laughs> 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 Y'all engaged? Uh, <laughs> Damn. Oh, Does Stevie J know about this? <gasps> Oh, yes, Why is you keep asking me about that man? He said That's he wishes them the best. So what that is just that. I, I feel like Stevie does have a sense of entitlement when it comes to you. Though. You know what? I can't deal with you. I but do. he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> thinks he does. he does. Yeah, he feel like he, I mean, he, you're his he creation. Feels, yeah, that's like, what he feels like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He not going to be happy about you being engaged with somebody else. What am I supposed to do about that? I'm with you. So you are engaged? I ain't say all that now. You got a you ring, got a ring, ring on. on. Hi. <laughs> 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 Y'all got I a date you... set? Huh? Y'all got a date set? When I do get one, mm-hmm. you will be there. And all of you guys will be there. All right. I promise. Can you want to get married, one? though? You think you're ready to hang it up like that? Um, yeah, why not? If it's a, a, a you know. She said, why not? Why not? You have to say, yes, I love him. And well, I she want to hang it up I mean, with men. Maybe not women, though. What? Mm, yeah, you know, you know what would be the perfect relationship for me? Mm. A man and a woman. Yeah, I knew you were gonna say that you would be married together, and then you guys would have a, a abs- woman abs- that lives oh in the house. Oh my gosh! But you can do that though. Is your man that you're engaged to now down with that? Does he know you like still like girls? He 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 knows I like. Girls. Jason, the mic. Y'all he knows. He knows. Together? Ah, uh, no. Not yet. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Wait till his birthday. Damn! See, that's so crazy. Maybe <laughs> every guy you deal with wants you to eat pussy. No, he actually don't even. He's not pressed by that. I just like to do it. Got you. It's for yeah. you. Yeah, it's for me. So you like eating it, or you like getting eaten up? Both. Wow. What's the pleasure of eating it? Uh so she's got to really turn me on, and it tur- you know, and then I get turned on. You want the control, being able to that yeah. you can make. I like a little control. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? Are you like the man? And just don't, don't, I am the no man. No pun intended. I'm the you, man. Are you like the man in this situation? Absolutely, I am. Okay. A, I am the man in the situation when it comes down to me and another lady, yes. You scrap ones and all that? You know what? I never strap them, but I want to. Mm. Okay. Read the Bible, honey. <laughs> Wait, you, you want to get strapped on, Charlamagne? No. no. Any questions here? That's and if he do, it ain't going to be for me. Goodness gracious. <laughs> All right. And then I wanted to ask you about the tweets and the situation with you and Stevie J's daughter because you did say some things to her. And she is a young child. And that is going to be Bonnie Bella's half sister. What did she say? Tell her what, what she, she said. I don't know. What did she say? You... Uh, she said, that whole mad because I run her daddy. Now run along and find your own cock to How suck. How old is she? 18. No, she's, she's, she's not 18. She's 21. Oh, oh she's okay. 21. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Wrong. Okay. Okay. She's 21. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, she is still his daughter. Listen, 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 listen. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. If you're 21 and you come for me, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so what did she say so about... said, you of age, I can come for you. Absolutely. Absolutely right. Because mm-hmm. guess what? The judge is going to tell that bitch, young lady, you're grown enough to know what's coming out of your mouth. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. So you can control your daddy, but you can't control me. I ain't with that shit. You know, and I'm going to give the respect where respect is due, especially now that I have a baby. Right. You know, mm-hmm. and she should respect me. 
I'm the mother of her sister. Mm-hmm. But she's also concerned about her dad because y'all have had such a violent Fuck her relationship. Dad. And that's hard. Because her dad should also be talking <laughs> to her about respecting the mother of his child. Mm-hmm. Didn't did Stevie J really demand a list of your sexual partners? No, I never heard that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I never heard that. Yeah, no, they I said know. he wanted your whole facts. He wanted to know everybody. Had <laughs> oh, my kid. God. No, 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 I never heard that. You posted a picture of J-Lo and, and Angie Stone. What was that picture about? Oh, yeah, let me read the caption. Okay. You do the math, ho, because your future ain't promised. <laughs> Toy now. I can't deal with you. You posted it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she wouldn't sound like that, but, but what was that picture about? You know, just really letting it be known. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a mega Latin superstar. Oh, so you was comparing yourself between J Lo and Angie Stone? No, I wasn't comparing myself to Angie. I, you know, I fuck with J Lo. You know what I mean? She's a mega Latin superstar, mm-hmm. and that's who I is. Mm-hmm. You know, and then the other person is who they is. That's Angie Stone. Oh, so you need to go ahead and work. Go ahead and work. <laughs> Cause go, when I'm here twenty years from now, you're gonna be over there like that. Why oh Angie God. Stone? Why, Why Angie, Angie Stone has a shot? Has I, ain't, I ain't give, I'm not giving her no shot. You making her have a shot. I'm not giving her no shot. I fuck with Angie. I'm just saying, Angie and Jayla's two different people. You don't know what yeah. Angie Stone oh, is. Angie's still getting money, though. Angie ain't I ain't no more rain in this I didn't cloud. say nothing that she's she not getting no money. Oh, okay. oh, well, not a baby That now, ain't got nothing to do with her getting money. Adult. Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. just saying, Angie's Angie and J-Lo's J-Lo. It's two different, it's two different beasts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, okay, Michelle, y'all gonna never be cool again? You know, what I want to do is, I want you to come to my listening party. I'm gonna fly you in town. I fly all of you guys in town. Mm-hmm. I ain't got time and, for that, Jocelyn. I, I fuck with you, but I ain't gonna hear your music now. You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna invite you to. Huh? And matter of fact, I got it right here, right now. Why don't y'all go ahead and play it? Let the people call. Why don't you let the people call? And this is you don't let, want that wait, no, this is let. Pick a song. Jocelyn, no, you don't this want is that a good song. No, and we're gonna play one song. Yeah, you, you, what song you want? Not we're gonna play. No, I don't. I don't have neither one of them out. What we gonna give them? Patience. The Latin one. That's the single. What you want to get them? See the problem. It's with this. Dambo. You ever heard of some? You you know you know Dambo. Mm-hmm. Just Dambo, look at Dambo. Dambo. Dambo is like Spanish. It's like it's like a. Do you know the boom, biggest boom, most streamed boom, song boom, boom, ever is to date is Despacito. No, Dambo is a style mm-hmm. of. See the problem is I want her to be able to hear the listeners call in after they hear the record. Okay, so then we could do it another time. We don't got to do it t- t- today. We could set it up and come back, right? The, re- the, re- the record not online or nothing. It's not out yet. Damn. It's not out yet. I just we'll play the record. Yeah. We'll play the record. Yeah, this is what we do. Feedback. You give us the record. We're going to play the record. They'll hit her on Instagram and Twitter and right. all that stuff. Okay. People will definitely hit you. So what if people think, think the record trash? How are you going to react to it? Uh, I think I'm going to let the people listen to it. It's, you know, it's, it's, I know you got a lot of Latin listeners because we in uh, New York. You know, so I think they're going to enjoy it. It's pretty cool. It's going to, it's, it's hot. Mm-hmm. It's them bows, the new wave. It's all me. Mm-hmm. I'm talking a lot of smack because, you mm-hmm. know, that's what we do on the dembo. Uh, and it's, it's, it's that bueno. Bien bueno. Okay. He don't How do you keep your nipples so hard in this Stop heat? Stop it. But it's cold. It's I'm, I'm done. done. I can't deal with you. It's cold in here. Where's your Bible? I'm telling you. But I'm just, I'm just asking a question. It has nothing to do with any <laughs> perversion. I'm just asking how do they stay so hard in this heat? Ladies and gentlemen, Jocelyn. <laughs> we appreciate you for joining yes, us. Thank, thank you so, so much. much for coming thank you so much. Good sport. And good luck to you. We look forward to seeing you on Love and Hip Hop Miami. And we also look if forward to hearing your music. Right. Thank you, babe. Okay. Y'all gonna send thank record, you right? so, so much. Yeah, I'm going to have patience sending for you right, right now. Do thank you, you guys. Do you pray? I do pray. And end with a prayer, Jocelyn. Come on, pray. Let's All right, let's pray. pray. Everybody bow your head. I'm going to start the mix up with the record. Come on, everybody bow your head. Pray. Jocelyn Hernandez. Go. Uh, God in the universe, we want to thank you today for bringing us here. Letting us have an amazing, amazing interview. Thank you for everybody coming together and being positive and everybody working like they need to work. And let's move on to the next step. Uh, I appreciate you. Thank you for God, the universe, and all the living things on earth. Amen. 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 All right. There you have it. It's The Breakfast Club. It's Jocelyn. Thank you. I can't believe you have to say a freaking prayer on air. (laughs) Hold on a second. (laughs) Jocelyn, one second. We just got to... What up, y'all? Hold on. What up, y'all? It's DJ Envy. Hey, I'm Angela Yee. I go by the name of Charlemagne the God with the world's most dangerous morning show, The Breakfast Club. And tomorrow morning on the show... We got the Puerto Rican princess. Jocelyn. You gotta say hello to the people. Hi, what's up, y'all? Baddest bitch in the game. You already know what's good. Jocelyn Hernandez. And we're gonna play your record tomorrow morning. Thank you so much. And you're gonna say, as listeners, what you think. All right. Let me know. Hit me up. And tell Charlamagne. IG. I need you to hit me up on the IG, Jocelyn. Twitter, Miss Jocelyn. 
and hit me up. Let me know what you think. And tell Charlamagne to stop looking at your nipple. Go to pray. Go to pray. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. <laughs> 